The Jets shock the Cincinnati Bengals, and I would say the entire NFL, by going into Cincinnati. Cincinnati had just pummeled the Baltimore Ravens 41-17. It was their and coming the, out party, Chris. It right? was. It was their coming out party. And they threw away all that goodwill they had earned, all that belief they had earned by losing 31-31. I'm sorry, 34-31 to the Jets. And here's the, the thing that makes it even worse, Rob. The Jets were starting. Zach Wilson is out with injury. That's their first-round pick who's supposed to be their future quarterback, right? Mike White, a fifth-round draft pick of the Dallas Cowboys. He's 26 years old. A few years ago, he got drafted in the fifth round. Was on the Cowboys scout team for three years. Barely made the squad this year. He goes 37 for 45 for the Jets in his first start. 405 yards. If I'm not mistaken, Rob G, correct me if I'm wrong. If you don't know now, look it up. First Jets quarterback to throw for 400 or more yards since Vinny Testaverde, I believe. Check that out, please. Yes, all right, that's correct. Three touchdowns, two picks, Rob. And the two picks were kind of, you know, Bobbles off of receivers' hands. Right. And New York is going gaga over Mike White. So, so head coach Robert Sala was asked, but well, he's obviously giddy because he got a victory finally. They're two and five. But here's what he said after the game about the, f- the future of his quarterback position. We'll go day to day, but anything's possible, right? Anything's possible. So it's it, it goes back to that whole theory of, The difference between player A and player Z is an opportunity in reps. That's what this league is. That's professional sports. That's why they come out of nowhere. They someone gets an opportunity, and what Mike does with his his opportunity is, he's got the world in front of him. He's got to take advantage of it. We'll go. I mean, Rob, you you got a you got an issue with look. Yeah, I I got an issue. New York is so starved, Chris. So I I just. I cannot get over where we are. And and we both worked in this town, okay? Yes. It ain't a town, Chris, where it's rah-rah media and we're giving everybody oh, no. the benefit of the not doubt all. and all that. It's just not that place. It's the opposite. I, it's exact opposite. No, we don't believe in anybody until you win the championship. That's right. We no, don't believe that, in anybody. That's the truth. And now New York media and New York has gone soft. <laughs> now they're trumpeting everybody who comes along, Chris. Well, Rob, let me add this. I, I like where you're going, but let me add this. I read a, there were columns today, at least one I read, from a, a great columnist. But it compared Mike White to Tom Brady. Yes. I was listening on the radio. Good radio show today, Sports Talk Radio in New York. Right. They they were talking about him. Now, of course, nobody said he's going to be the next Tom Brady. But, but they mentioned it because Tom yes, Brady was yes. a sixth-round pick exactly. and he's a fifth-round pick. Came out of and, nowhere. Exactly. Yep. So that's the, – the, the, just add to your comment, but go ahead. Yeah, and and I'm just – Chris, like, I'm I'm not saying you shouldn't celebrate a guy first start, first start as, you know, for the Jets – Beats a team, the hottest team in the NFL. Can I say that? Coming into Sunday, just the way that they beat Baltimore. You know, like like people were buzzing about the Bengals and what they right. were doing. And and we know we like Joe Burrow. Remember, we were like, they got to take him, Chris, right? We loved the yep. whole idea. And we were like, this is the guy you want who wants to play in Cincinnati, right? And turn it around and be that guy. So we are all in on that. And the... People jumping around. We've seen it when the Knicks have won games. You've seen the videos, Chris, on social media. Like they won the championship. Right. Right? right. Like 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 crazy enthusiasm. Yep. Like no standards, no like, all right, so what? You won a game in, you know, when they had the double overtime or whatever it was against the Celtics. Oh, that was the greatest Knicks game I've seen in like 25 years. Oh, my God. Right. You know, like right. like what? What are you talking about? Okay. It was a great game. Double overtime, they beat the Celtics. And now this kid comes along, and they're all in. Like, I mentioned the Tom Brady, all this. This reminds me of Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin, Good Chris, comparison. you remember. Like, yep. Carmelo was out. The team had nobody. It was stripped down. Go back. 
There was nobody else to shoot, Chris, but Jeremy Lin, right? It was there. There was and nobody. It was a nice two-month run. Right. But they went crazy over him. And I can remember Larry Brown going on radio in New York. Larry Brown said, he's a, he's a nice kid. Come on. Stop. Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Right, right, right. He's a good he's player. A I like young him. He's a player, right. Right. But let's, you guys have built him up. Sports Illustrated, Chris, in, a, in an attempt to sell magazines at that time, put him on twice in two weeks. That's they never did that for any athlete. Not Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan Muhammad nobody Ali. <laughs> ever was on the cover of Sports Illustrated twice in two weeks. And this and, is what and, we're talking and, about. And Rob, you know this, and that's related because people might say, "Well, Sports Illustrated that's a national magazine, so that's not New York media." Because so many writers come from New York, and I don't know who the SI writer was, but. Editors, writers at a lot of these national publications are from New York, Rob. Right. And ESPN, you know this, Rob. A lot of their anchors are from the East Coast and New York, and they love the New York teams. That's why anytime there's a good New York team, they get major coverage on ESPN. And the same thing, you don't forget the Boston tie in, Chris. All those sports yep, editors any of the from East the Boston. Coast. Yep. Right? Yep. Boston Globe or whatever. Vince Doria was one of the big bosses there. It was always about Boston, too. New York right. and Boston. Right. Because ESPN is right in the middle of those two places. Right. Right. But look, I'm with you. Like, I, I get it. The kid had a nice game. I, I would say slow down. Like you, you hit it on the head. Are you that you're that desperate? Yes. For any success outside of the Yankees, yep. That your standards have become so low. I mean, really, one game. These are all pro athletes. They all can play at some level. And so any of them are capable of having a game here or there. But can you do it consistently? That's the question. Rob, let's go back not even a year. Let's go back what? I don't know, eight months? Maybe a year, whatever it was. The playoffs last year. Taylor Heineke. 26 for 44. 306 yards, one touchdown in his first and only playoff game. That was against Tampa Bay in the eventual Super Bowl champions. Tom Brady's on the other sideline. Yep. And now they're looking for a new quarterback because they know it ain't Taylor Heineke. Can we can we wait to see it for a little while yes. before we celebrate the kid? Mike White is the next Rags to riches success story. Forget the next Tom Brady, the next Kurt Warner. Can we slow down a bit? Right. It, it, it has gotten so bad. But I, I do believe that, Chris, that things have just, in New York, I mean, it, it's been a championship drought. Some They got two of the worst football teams over the last five or six years. The Giants and Jets are awful. They're horrible. They're, Hor they're, they're horrible. horrible. Both, Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Both of them. Uh, and and at least the Giants have won three Super Bowls in the last uh, four Super Bowls in the last twenty five years. The Jets haven't won since nineteen sixty nine. Just think about that. And they were in the yeah, AFL. They're, they're pitiful. All right. They're pitiful. Uh, but but yeah, it it has been, it has really really been bad. And so they gravitate and grab hold of anything. Even the Knicks last year, you remember, and and, and just get into nice, the playoffs. And Atlanta nice handled season, them remember, in five right. easy. Yep. And and right. and and they didn't and they didn't get there and and you know they had to run and and probably where they were supposed to be Chris to be honest they weren't they probably weren't to be probably right. weren't more than than a first round victory right and then they get knocked out in the second round. Well, and here's the uh, the other thing, Rob. It, it, look, if you just listen to what. Robert Sala said on the face of it, it, it's fine. It's competition, you know, all that. They're fine. But Zach Wilson, at least in theory, is the future. It's not Mike White. Now, if Mike White goes out next week 
and throws for 350 yards, and three touchdowns, after, and leads them the to victory. After, right. right, and continues to play. Then you got some. We're not saying it's got to be Zach Wilson no matter no, what. But it's got to be We're more just than saying one, one game. game. One game? Come on. And Be now, better than that, Chris. Yeah, Be better than that. Yeah. That That's like some some sports town, some upstart expansion sports right, town right, that's never right. won anything. <laughs> never had a team. Right. They're just happy to have a pro team there. Right. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? That like, this is, this is a, the Yankees have won 27 championships, and this is what excites <laughs> you? A guy plays one game? 